Once again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that you can never really repay your parents. They have done much more than you can ever do unto them. And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, of course the hadith goes on and on. This is the month of Ramadan, this is the time for all good deeds. So this is also the time to be good to our parents. Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reminded us that Al-walidu awsatu abwabil jannah That the father is the and the mother, walid here means father and mother, the parent is the middle or the largest door to Jannah. Al-walidu awsatu abwabil jannah This means the easiest way to enter Jannah is to give khidmah to the parents. The easiest way to enter Jannah is to help one's parents. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Ridal Rida al-Rabbi Rida al-Walid Wa sakhat al-Rabbi sakhat al-Walid That the pleasure of Allah is found in the pleasure of the parents And the displeasure of Allah is found in the displeasure of the parents So whoever wants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with him Should please his parents Whoever wants Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with him should be pleasing to his parents. And whoever is worried about the punishment of Allah should be worried about the anger of his parents. In that famous hadith in Musnad Imam Ahmad and also in the Sunan of Abi Dawood, where a sahabi came from Yemen and he said, Ya Rasulullah, jitu in Yemen. O Messenger of Allah, I have come to you from Yemen so that I can give you bay'ah. I can become a Sahabi. I can do jihad behind you. And I have left my parents. Wahum yabkiyan. And they're crying because they want me. I left up my parents and I came to you. And our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If you want the pleasure of Allah, farji' ilayhima. Go back to them. Wa And go make them laugh as you have made them cry. Go make them laugh as you have made them cry. This is what our Prophet ﷺ said, you think you want Jannah, you've come to me and you've left your parents crying? How can you get Jannah in this manner? He came to be a Sahabi. He came to do jihad behind the Messenger of Allah. But he left his parents crying. And the Prophet ﷺ said, you think you will enter Jannah in this manner? Irji' ilayhi, but go back to them. <laughs> Go back to them and make them <laughs> Go back to them and make them laugh as you have made them cry. This is the way to enter Jannah is to please the parents. Go back to them and make them laugh as you have made them cry. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the one who told us that the easiest way to get to Jannah was by pleasing the parents. The son of Abdullah ibn Ab, the son of Abdullah ibn Zubair, the famous Sahabi, when his father passed away, he said, I am not crying because my father has died, or just because my father has died. I am crying because my easiest door to Jannah has been shut from me. This is why Abdullah ibn Zubair's son was crying when his father had died. I'm not crying just because he's died. I'm crying because my easiest door to Jannah has now been shut from me. We do not know how long we have with our parents. For those of you whose parents are alive, do whatever you can to please them and make them happy. For those whose parents have moved on, there is much that can still be done. A man came to the Prophet and said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, my mother has died. What can I do to help my mother now that she is dead? Is there anything I can do? The Prophet ﷺ said, Ajal, yes, there's much that you can do. Make dua for her. Seek istighfar for her. Give sadaqah on her behalf. Make udhiyah. Go for hajj and umrah. Visit her relatives and friends that you would not otherwise visit. So these are things that can be done once your parents have moved on from this world. And this is the month of fasting, the month of Ramadan, the month of good deeds. This is the month that we should try our best 
to do whatever we can. If our parents are with us, then please them and make them happy. If they have moved on, then there is still much that can be done. Sadaqah, zakah, hajj, umrah, being in touch with their family and friends, which is something that most of us don't think about. Realize that as you grow older, your greatest regret will always be, will always be the bad memories that you have left with your mother and father. You will never be able to take back a harsh word. You will never be able to take back a bad memory. Any time you caused your mother or father distress, it will, it will cause you much grief as long as you live. It is easy to get angry as a young man or woman, but the regret and the memories that remain will be painful for you. So my dear brothers and sisters, remember what Allah has told you in the Quran. Don't say uff to them. Don't speak harshly to them. And keep on being kind and generous. وَقُلْ لَهُمَا قَوْلًا karima. You want to earn the pleasure of Allah. You have in front of you two doors, your mother and your father. Please them and you will enter Jannah insha'Allah ta'ala. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.